Yeah, buzzing, buzzing. It's, it's, it's been a long time coming to announce everyone and announce it the other day, obviously. And it's, yeah, I've had loads of support since, loads of support. I can, can be more grateful for what, what they've said and the support I've got from everyone. I've got loads of texts coming in, people saying well done and that. It's, yes, it's been real good, real good. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, I had that experience and then at the time it was the right thing to follow London and go back down and get me that extra game time, although it didn't quite work out that way with COVID, but that, that was the plan and I, I feel like now's, now's the time to sort of step up and give my best shot and play that top level and stay there consistently. Yeah, yeah, I, I walk around the house to my family like, you need a game of rugby, you need a game of rugby, you, you've been here stuck, stuck here too long. Like, I think I'm going to take it out on them or something. All this, all this pent up aggression, ready to go play. But yeah, no, I, I can't wait. Like even just to get back there, like just being with like people and training day in day out, doing what you love. Like I'm obviously I'm very fortunate to have a job that I enjoy doing, and missing out on work is a bad thing for me. Like most people will be buzzing to have all this time off, but no, for me it's been it's been it's been long, a very long time. So yeah, I'm ready to get back back out there. Uh, I'd, I'd like to think I'm quite an aggressive player, quite um, well, sort of go straight in and hit hard and get the job done. I don't, I don't miss around too much, I wouldn't like to think. And yeah, I'm there, I'm there to do a job and that's it, hit hard and run hard. Um, I, I had a mate invite me to Rugby Union when I was like 10, because I was a bit bigger, I was playing football, everyone plays football when you're young guy. And, he invited me to Union. I went to Union, spent a couple of years there, and then the coach was like, oh, come down, we have a rugby league team local as well. It was, um, like, I only just sort of started up, like, a couple of years old or something. So I went down there, done a few sessions, and, like, Union and League were opposite times a year down there. So I, I was playing rugby all year round, just enjoying it, and just through playing, like, in my local club, Medway, it just, it picked up, and sort of, I went, I went through, like, it's like a player development camp, and then when I was 16, I went to uh, London Academy, and sort of, yeah, that, that, that's how I went for it. Just started playing Union and went to League and just enjoyed playing rugby. At, the, at that age, I didn't care whether it was Union or League and playing rugby was playing rugby and it just worked out that there were plenty of opportunities here and it, it was perfect for me. Yeah, yeah, it would be great to see him again. He, he was real good for me when I was down here. Like, he captained me when I was in the academy. He always tried to help me out when I stepped up. He was there trying to put me in the right directions. He, He's, he's always tried to help me out and put me in the right direction. Yeah, it'll be good, like, obviously, knowing him. And I, I haven't necessarily been in that Super League setup, but so he should be able to put me in the right direction again. Yeah, looking forward to it. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. I can't, I can't wait. Like, like you say, being in the north, like, it's a main sport. You're going to get loads of fans. And it'll, be, it'll be good to get out there, get in a, a nice big stadium, hear all the fans and that. And it's something I really look forward to. Something, like, I love London, I love all the fans. Like The good thing about London is it's so personal, you know all of them. But I can't, I can't wait to get out there and get in a, a massive stadium, local derbies and that. That's, that's what I look forward to, the real, the real um, atmosphere in that of it. Oh, well, obviously making my debut. I remember making my debut against um, Toronto at home for London. That's, that's got to be one of them. I, I've still got the shirt, actually. I, I bought up. I got the shirt and I framed it and get, I got it for my dad for a father's day, actually, so that's still sitting downstairs. And then actually the other one is um, obviously playing for England, like representing the England Knights against Jamaica. That, I've got that shirt also framed downstairs, so that was for my dad. But yeah, no, they're definitely it. They're definitely the two proudest moments I've had in my career. Like, you, can't, you can't be going out there and putting on a jersey for your country, no matter whether it's like the top level or the Knights or Academy, whatever it be, it, it's, it's an honour to do that. So that, that's got to be there. Um, to bet myself as a player for sure. Like it's going to be a real good chance to get into uh, to get into that environment where everyone's been there for a long time. There's loads of experience there. Like they they've all been around the block a few times. Like they know what it's like to be in Super League. And if I can take some of what they the experience that they've got and I'm, I'll take it on, learn it, bring it on board, and get some game time and sort of show what I'm about. It's, it's a big stage there, and like it's, it's a real good opportunity for me to show who I am and. The spotlight can sort of, if you want the spotlight on you, it can be there. There's the opportunities for that to happen. And that's something I'm really looking forward to. And yeah, just just getting that game time and proving myself. And I slowly want to become a regular. And that, that's that's the aim, mate. Eh?